tonight, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. That has been on the planet putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of this belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena. Vegas, All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, ready to go for round one, and most people believe Oban St. Preux will be at his aggressive best in the early going here tonight. The majority of his UFC finishes have come in round one against the likes of Shogun Hua, Patrick Cummins, Nikita Krilov, Cody Donovan. We'll see if Oban St. Preux can add to that total with another first-round finish tonight. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, going for the takedown here. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, well timed with that team. Both fighters throwing heat now. That punch no good. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Job understanding the transition. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Safe A lot of top pressure being applied here. The belly. Constantly a moving target. Postures up, the belly. He's raining down Paul and Paul. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by St. Cruz. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. And that one certainly found the target. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Beautiful transition. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Just had a range with the big right hand. Beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good 
good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. He checked that last one. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. He's in the mouth. He's got to start throwing down. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by St. Cruz. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in it. St. Cruz trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. The triangle choke is locked in. This was a beautiful technique. He just has to get his feet on the... Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get so. The overhand left is true. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Just misses with the left hook. 30 seconds to go in the round. Big power shot there. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Look at the turtle in that kick. Final seconds here of round one. And that's been a kick out of Tom on top. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out this time. Trying to establish that jab once again. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, separation the clinch. It's a pretty fast jab. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure. I'll take your action. Okay. It's not over. It's not over. Ooh. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Nice shot there by the champ. Just over three minutes to go. Loads up on the right hand and lands. He's got some hands, man. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Big combination. Big 
outside cage. Well, he rocked him, but he couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Santos' cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Just misses there with the left. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. And now some distance as they pull apart. Nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Game of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Uh, uh, body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. 30 seconds to go in the round. St. Cruz I starting to swell now. Alright, he engages in the single collar tie. Seconds winding down in round two. And now some separation. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Start protecting yourself. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Out of range with that one. Head strikes. with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Oh, nice. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, 
Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Three minutes to go in round three. single collar in the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Pretty significant welt to the left side. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. side leg kick there. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed. Oh! Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, missed on that one. Less than a minute to go in the round. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon. Double leg is good. Both fighters get up now. Oh, misses with the jet. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by St. Paul. Oh, nice little right hook there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Another takedown man. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you, you enjoyed fight? that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA yeah. wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change. Oh! Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. He got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick lands. St. 
came through. Gets caught by the straight punch. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world-famous Octagon. we got two fighters who are nearly gassed out here, champ. Both of us are exhausted, and they are questioning what they did wrong in the preparation for this fight. Or if they get the Octagon and just go crazy. you got to manage your cardio if you're going to be able to fight a long fight. Missed with that attempt. starting to flow every time that area gets targeted that cuts getting worse it's getting worse and worse and you see the blood starting to come down that is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on and whether or not he's reaching forward whether or not he's confused by where it's at you got to start to watch his reaction and all great takedown defense right now by the champ Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Beautiful body kick. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad... Oh! That was it! Tonight, gotta think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man.